Hi and welcome to our open stop motion film project. Again to a new episode. I just got finished with uh, a kids workshop so and I get this I have uploaded it and then uh, it says it's private even then I have said it to public I don't know why Some changes are not yet saved. It's not working good, my friends. Why oh, yeah, are they saying it's private? It's not private. <clears throat> I don't know why that is. They said it yesterday with the other. I don't know. I don't know, I don't care right now, but it's kind of irritating. So, no, we will carry on with the, what, what we was, uh, not getting very far with this today, uh, for a little while I got, because I had, uh, I had to get a new, so I don't know if. get the, the saw you saw in the picture I I get a cut so I can cut uh, cut things a little faster uh, I'm 
close this down so it don't irritate me more than necessary. <clears throat> now, what you can see, I have gotten a little farther, but we need to detail it a little more. Uh, so it get nice and smooth and so on because the better we do it now the the easier is it afterwards when we but it can actually take a couple of days or so to uh, to make one of these um, especially when I have to upload pictures to the site and I have to uh, Tuesday and Thursday I make to the kids uh, stop I'll sit there watch on so we can see when an hour have gone so but to smoothen it out I use this uh, oil you can use uh, food oil or something like that that's not that important Because when you, when it, even when it gets a soft, even with your fingers, you can make a, a lot of marks in it when it's too dry. When I print it afterwards, I also can uh, kind of sand it and try to make it a little better, but I prefer not to have too much after work on it. The problem is that when you have too much after work on it, when when you uh, are scaling it down in a smaller figure, then uh, it's very difficult to make some precise work on it afterwards. And even that the 3 3D printer is good. Uh, it's not that good. It's kind of crude. Once you get out out of it, and that's go for all of them, except for for the very very expensive ones. But that's not something I can afford. We have to buy the more modest one. And 
now I get a mail from YouTube asking me if I'm ready to publish a video yet. Maybe. Publish. I have done it. I don't know anybody who okay the telephone is getting out of power understand this <clears throat> I really don't Put the phone to power. Sorry about that, but sometimes they can make simple things very complicated. And there are no reason to say it's private when I have said it to public. But who knows? Who knows?
don't. You smoothen out one place and then you make a dent in another place. That's not a way forward. It's hard to see now when it is so shiny. The head is not that important because there gets uh, a wig on there. But the face is. Paper towel. But the work you do here, you don't have to do later. So, it's worth doing.
do something else. It's a little too much. When I start these head like this, I don't really have an idea how they are going to look. It's kind of takes shape over time. It's actually fun for me to see what what I can find in in this clay. <clears throat> Sometimes it's a little hard to get, get access. My biggest fear are always that they look similar. them to have character so they are recognizable.
That was Google again telling me that the oop, that I could release. I think there's something wrong with the... Everything I share, I have, everything I do, I always have shared public. So, I'm not... And I have never had this before. And I have not changed any settings. So, who knows? Up to and as you hopefully can see on the picture on the figure is that it's a grown up. And a little elderly grown up. Not that they got that old in in the Stone Age. But so that's why I Try to make a little, little, the cheeks are a little falling in and so on. Not, not too much, but still. one you can see.
you can see here grandma and they were the first some of the first I made in real clay you can see that's but the problem with the problem with real clay is that you have to make it at once if you uh, leave it uh, and it dries you cannot put more on it uh, I tried everything at least I could not figure out how to do it because it it cracked like crazy and I repaired and repaired and it cracked again and repaired it's kind of you have to do it the first time or else and that's the good thing with this you can keep on and you can regret something and make it in another way thing that's make it so hey just a moment <laughs> that was family. Every Wednesday I have my granddaughter and every Friday I have my grandson. So. She just wanted to ensure that I haven't forgotten. I don't forget my little granddaughter. always enjoyable to have kids like that running around and she have broken her arm so
but she's a tough little cookie. Oops. Oops. <coughs> Sometimes this is a little difficulty, li little difficult in the in the light size like this because the shadow are falling differently. Even if, oops, even if I turn it around like this. So the sides don't look uh, like I think that was a little better. I think it's that's the reason the light is the reason the artists have uh, places with studios with a uh, lot of windows and windows in the roof and that kind of thing. But a digital studio you read tend to paint the walls grey and An artificial light, light all world. If any any of you have tried to make an oil painting, and when you have been kind of in the in what call we call it in the uh, now I 
egg come on the word in the zone and you and the the sun is gone down and you keep on painting in the in the artificial light and and example if you make skies blue and then you wake up in the morning and think it was really good yesterday and then you wake up in the morning and you think what the have you done crazy colors you can simply not make real colors in that And it's on purpose he have a note like this. Kind of one that has been broken. <clears throat> I guess that Stone Age people lived a tough life. no doctor to get to. nose broke then the nose broke and that was that
And you put the nails in his nose. Always put more stuff on. One you can feel with your fingers uh, if the sides are the same height. See, one of the problems uh, when you are making Stone Age people is that they are not fully clothed and uh, then you show much more of the body uh, when normal when you see stop motion they are all fully clothed so you only have to make a head and hands and feet but in this case you you see both the feet and the arms and the shoulders and so that's a little more difficult I actually wasn't thinking about it when I started writing about it but <laughs> I should have made it all about a lizard in the, in the desert. 
desert. But uh, I think that is made before and that is not the story I want. Is is actually the hardest way I have chosen. I have not made it easy for myself, but that is too late now. gloves on like children they are scratching the scratching themselves when they are newborn It start to lose. Something. I know it is a hideous yellow clay color wise, but uh, that was the the only thing they had in stock when I first ordered it, and. I ordered a lot that it actually don't matter but it's kind of I guess I can finish this one tomorrow while my granddaughter is here. While she are uh, eating candy and watching YouTube, I guess. <laughs> I will stop for tonight and hope I will see you again tomorrow and uh, start, on, start on something new. Now we have fiddled around with this enough but uh, as I have said from the start it is Not so exciting. 
hunt. Everything worth to do, as I told the kid, is taking a lot of time. So that's the same with it. I will say thank you for watching and say good night or good morning or whatever you are in the world. Thank you and see you again tomorrow.